Today we're going to learn about something called length. L E N D G T H. And length means how long something is. Okay? So we're going to be thinking about how long things are today. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to get out two pieces of white paper, or it can be a color, just two pieces of paper. And then I want you to choose three shoes. Now, the shoes have to be different sizes. So if you, you'll see here, I had a baby shoe, and I got a kid's shoe, and then I got a grown-up shoe. And I traced around the shoes, and then I cut the pieces out. And that's what you're going to do. Okay, and you can just get rid of this paper. All right, so now I have my three shoes. You'll notice that the baby shoe is short, and the kid's shoe is a little bit longer, and the grown-up shoe is the longest. So it would have the biggest length, because it's the longest. The next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna make a little chart. And on our chart, we're gonna write the same words. Um, you can label, I want you to label the shoes that you cut out. So let's say you have a, a baby brother or sister, um, maybe your shoe, and then maybe your mom or dad's shoe. So go ahead, label them, and then put the same names over here. So I have baby, kid, and grown up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to measure some different things. And today I'm going to measure my clipboard. First, I'm going to measure this with my baby shoe. I'm going to start at the very end. Notice I'm not overlapping, and I'm, I want to start at the very edge. So I'm going to start there, and I'm going to hold my finger right there where it ends, and then I'm going to move it down. So that's one baby shoe and two baby shoes three baby shoes, and a little bit. So on my chart, I'm going to say that when I measured the clipboard, it was three baby shoes and a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to say three plus. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to measure using the kid's shoe. I'm going to measure the same clipboard using the kid's shoe. All right. So remember, start it at the very end. Make sure it's straight. There's one. There's two. And ah, two and a half. Okay, so two and a half kids' shoes. So I could write that like this. Two and one half. We learned about fractions last week. So the clipboard, the baby shoe, I got three and a half, three, a little bit more than three. For the kids' shoe, I measured about two and a half shoes, and now I'm going to do grown-up shoe. Okay, start at the end. Hold your finger right where it's right here at the edge. So one, and let's say that's almost two. So we'll just say like a little bit less than two, but it's about two. All right, so you'll notice that these are different we noticed when we looked at them that they're different sizes, but now we can tell they're different sizes by numbers, okay? So I want you to go around the house and find different things. Maybe you want to measure a table. Maybe you would like to measure your bed. Maybe you could measure your couch. Um, remember when you're measuring, you don't want to leave a gap. But this would be called a gap, and you don't want an overlap. You want them to touch just, just like that, okay? And then take a picture of your chart and show me some of the things that you measured today.